I'm Dave Salmoni for Animal Planet, and these are your animal bites. Uh, hanging out with your best friends outdoors is great. It's good for them, it's good for us. But whether it's hiking, canoeing, camping, whatever the outdoor activity, make sure you plan for your animal. The first thing I always think about for an animal when you're going, you wanna know how long you're gonna go and uh, what they're gonna need during that time that you're gone. You have to think about food, water, and shelter. So in this case, we're only going for an hour. I have some treats, there's lots of water, so we're covered. But when we go overnight, I have to think about their food. Is it in a dry container? Uh, would that container float if we fell in the water? Uh, is it uh, safe from other animals, like a chipmunk or a bear who might want to get into it? These are all factors I need to take into consideration when I'm packing their food. So in my case, I'm going for a canoe right here. I'm only going for a couple hours. But really, all they need is a couple treats. Here we go. Good boy. Now, I think treats are the key to anything when you're hanging out with your best friends. Anytime you expose your animals to something new, unique, or something that you want to be fun for that animal, a treat is a great way to communicate. Saying, hey, you did that great, here's a treat. And they say, hey, this is pretty awesome. I'm hanging with you, I'm getting rewards, this is great. It's a wonderful way to communicate to your dog that you like what it's doing. As Honey takes a drink there, another big thing besides treats or food you gotta think about water. Oftentimes, the temperature is gonna go up or down or the activity is gonna go up and down and water is very important to dogs. In fact, water is more important to dogs than food is. So if you're putting food in your backpack or in this case, you've got a whole river full of water, make sure water is nearby. When dogs are active, they need to drink. Now for you outdoorsy type, when you're going into a natural environment, there's a few other factors that you have to think about, especially if you're overnighting. Weather is something people don't often think about, but if you're gonna bring your rain jacket or your thermals, you better make sure you think about how these guys are gonna stay dry. If a cold rain shower comes in, your dogs are just as vulnerable to exposure as you are. They might be a little bit better with their fur coats, but it's still something you have to think about. Overheating is something you have to think about. So temperature control, weather control, please consider that while you're going. Now, because we're here by the water, you might think, well, all dogs can swim. Funny enough, neither of my dogs swim well. So in that case, you either have to have a plan or they actually sell life preservers for dogs. So whatever you're comfortable with, make sure you account for that because I can tell you, if that big dog falls in the water in the middle of this river, uh, there better be a plan from me because she is not a good swimmer. Another hot tip I have for you for your dogs if you're outdoors, even if they're not on leash dogs, bring your leash with you. You may happen to bump into somebody. It's unlikely for me to bump into somebody out here, but it is very likely for me to bump into a moose. Neither of these dogs have seen a moose before, so I don't know if they'll chase a moose. I don't know if they'll get chased by a moose, but in that case, I can physically grab them and bring them to safety where the moose can go somewhere and the dogs can go somewhere else. And what about the other animals that you're going to interact with while you're there? If you're on the west coast of California, everyone I know has to think about rattlesnakes. There are rattlesnakes around every corner and dogs like this often put their nose where the rattlesnake feels it doesn't belong. So no matter the wild space you're going into, know what you're possibly up against. In this particular case, we have to think about bears, we have to think about snakes. I also have to think of the animals that live out here on a day-to-day -day basis. How do I keep them safe from these guys? So I know that just over here is a wonderful little loon's nest and I'd like to go and see it. Well, I'm not gonna let my dogs anywhere near that place because loons come back every year to the same nesting site uh, and they only have one, two, or three little chicks per year. Uh, you don't wanna disrupt that system and that cycle. Now my final thought is make sure you're making this fun for the dogs. If you are an outdoorsy person and you wanna make sure your best friend's out hanging outdoors with you every day, then over treat, extra treat. They are getting tons of exercise when they're outdoors, so don't be afraid to hand out one or two extra treats so that when they see your hiking shoes get on your feet, they think, wow, here we go. 
we're going to go have some fun. Thanks for joining. I hope you and your pets have some great times outdoors this year. We'll see you soon.